Young loves turned runaways, and an entire town turned upside down to find them. Here's our movie line on Moonrise Kingdom. Hey everyone, I'm Tatiana Carrier. Moonrise Kingdom follows the story of two young lovebirds who run away into the wilderness so that they can be together. I do cartography. I feel we should go halfway today and halfway tomorrow since you're a less experienced tiger and you're wearing Sunday school shoes. They're not really Sunday school shoes. Oh, thank you. Sounds sweet, except for the fact that they're 12 and that understandably causes some major stress for the adults in their lives. Does it concern you that your daughter has just run away from home? That's a loaded question. The story set in 1965 New England is heartwarming, witty, and fun, and something only one guy can really pull off. At the helm, the infamous Wes Anderson. As you movie buffs may already know, Anderson is known for his whimsical storytelling. So where did he get the inspiration for this particular film? The setting for it is really inspired by this island. For the last 15 or 20 years or so, um, I've been going to visit some friends who go to this island uh, called Nauchon, that's uh, off the coast of, uh, is it near Cape Cod. When you go to this place, it's, a, it's like go, stepping into the past. And that's why this movie is set, uh, you know, in 1965, because it, it could easily be 1965 when you go to this place. Comedy legend and film star Bill Murray talks about working with the talented director. Working with Wes is different. He's very specific about what he wants you to do, and very, you know, he wants it a certain way, and no, do it faster, say it more, you know, like this, that kind of thing. And, and you think you're being, like, manipulated, but you're really being, you know, asked to serve a certain kind of storytelling. This, this is not what anyone else is doing right now. This will actually be Murray and Anderson's sixth time working together. Their first collaboration was on 1998's Rushmore. Up next for the duo, the Grand Budapest Hotel, which is set to release sometime in 2014. I'll be out back. I'm going to find a tree to chop down. The young lovebirds played by Cara Hayward and Jared Gilman dish on what the eccentric director had them do to prepare for their complex roles. More complex than any preteen could understand on their own. The month before filming, um, he had us go to Rhode Island and we would um, do rehearsals. Cara and I would do rehearsals to kind of like test our chemi chemistry and kind of prepare for these scenes when we actually film them. And then he also yeah, invited that, us to a yeah. showing of a movie called Blackjack, which was also, it was very, it inspired us and it showed us just how, you know, to make our scenes extra special. Moonrise Kingdom also stars Bruce Willis in a quirky character role you've got to see. I'm declaring the case with the county right now. Until help arrives, I'm deputizing the little guy, the skinny one, and the boy with the patch on his eye to come with me in the station wagon. Click here to watch the film's trailer and subscribe to learn more about Wes Anderson's next film with Bill Murray, The Grand Budapest Hotel. That's your movie line on Moonrise Kingdom. Go or no? What's your review? Tell us in the comment section. I'm Tatiana Carrier. Thanks for watching with us. We'll see you next time.